Hey guys, it's Mike. Uh, this vlog's a little bit different. I'm excited, but I'm also kind of nervous because I have to bring the salad robot to Discovery Channel in about four hours where we're going to film a spot about it. I'm excited because I've never had someone toss my salad on national television before, and I think that's going to be great. But I'm nervous because anytime I move one of my inventions, I worry about them breaking, and there's a lot of loose little fiddly wires and stuff with this one. So I stayed up really late last night, and I soldered all the cables to a prototype board. I figured if I left them in the breadboard, a wire might come loose, and then I might not have time to figure out where the wire goes back before I go to air. I was told that I'm going to have 20 minutes to set up, and then I'm going right onto the stage, and they're going to film it. So I just gotta pack up my tools. Then I gotta pack up all the bigger stuff. I also gotta bring my air compressor and some air hose because the piston at the back of the machine is air powered. And then let's hit the road and head over to Discovery Channel. Okay, so we're here in the green room getting ready, and uh, I've got all the components. So I've got the Arduino, I've got a board that controls the uh, air solenoid, and I've got the board that controls uh, the spoons and the control board and all that stuff. So I'm going to put it all together, and I'm going to test the machine see if it works. Okay, so it works but I found a couple problems. One is they want to look at mode three that tosses really quick, but I forgot that it says error all over the screen uh, when I run that mode and uh, I don't have time to remove that. But then I also forgot the attachment to hook my air compressor up to the solenoid. Uh, so this needs uh, a piece where I can connect the, the hose from the air compressor and get it down to one of these little hoses that'll connect to my solenoid. Luckily I brought some extra parts and I brought some Teflon tape. So I've got a few minutes to go. I'm gonna to try to fix that up. Okay, it kind of looks like a mess, but it looks like it's gonna work. So I'm back, it went pretty well, and it was fun. I got my salad tossed on television, which was great. Uh, there was a few hiccups. When I was putting the machine together before I went on the set, uh, it didn't work the first time. So I had to go over the wiring and see what was going on. And then while we were taping it, they wanted me to switch it from the one mode where it mixes the salad to the other mode where it tosses the bowl forward. That was kind of tricky because to switch modes, I have to disconnect the air piston and then point it down at the bowl which I thought was gonna be easy, but I forgot that the piston was gonna be under pressure while I was doing it, so I couldn't move it at all. It was like locked right in. So I fumbled with it. Uh, I had a box of salad by my feet and I knocked it over. I stepped on a tomato. Uh, it was actually a pretty big mess, but luckily that part in the middle, they edited it out. So it just looks like I'm getting the machine ready and then suddenly it's ready. One thing that happened that I thought was kind of strange was uh, I like to play it very deadpan. That's how I like to do these videos. That's the type of comedy that I like. And while we were filming it, I tried to make a joke about tossing salad and the host was not having any of it. She shut that down immediately, which I thought was strange because they saw the YouTube video. They know the machine is a joke about tossing salad. They had me come out there, but then as soon as I got there, there was an atmosphere kind of like, we know what it is, but you're not allowed to make the joke associated to this robot. So then what is it? I just look like a crazy guy that made this really stupid salad machine, and I can't mention the humor behind it whatsoever. But even though she wasn't going for that type of humor, I think it still turned out pretty good. So I'm probably not allowed to actually show you guys the footage. I'm gonna tag it on the end with a big disclaimer saying that it's property of Bell Media. 
I'm hoping that since it's just a portion of their show that it's fair use. But if Bell comes to me and asks me to take it down, I'm going to have to remove it. So if that happens, I'll just delete the vlog post, take that clip out, and then put it back up. So if you see this pop up twice on your subscription box, that's what's going on. So here it is, guys. Take a look. Ever since I stopped eating meat, I've had to find more and more interesting ways of eating vegetables. And I have to tell you guys, I think I have found the most interesting way yet. With me right now is Mike from Useless Duck Company. And you've created what, like a super high-tech uh, salad tosser? That's right. I've created a salad tosser. It's a kitchen appliance that mixes a salad for you. Okay. Well, let's get it started. I want to see how it works. And I want to kind of get a sense of like all the electrical that's going on here in the pneumatic tube, it looks like. So can you power it up? Sure. So I'm going to select a mode. Okay. And then if you just want to hit this green button right here, right just here. reach over, sure we're going to toss the salad. <laughs> okay, well, um, that's great. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm. uh, so, Mike, first of all, your company, Useless Duck Company, tell mm -hmm. us what, what you do in general. So the Useless Duck Company solves problems for people and families. We do yeah. that by inventing uh, robotics. Right. As an example, here's a 3D printed salad tosser. I actually right. received a message from one of my customers. Mm. He said he wanted a robot that would toss his salad. Right. And this is what I created as a result. Yes, there are so many salad tossing jokes that one could make. However, I want to be serious here right now. And tell me about this actual structure. What's going on with all the tubes and everything back here? Okay, so the structure that's green here is 3D printed. Okay. Um, this back here is a pneumatic piston. Right. So salad is a very natural thing. I wanted to use a very natural power source. Right. So it uses compressed air. Right. All these electronics here, what they're doing is they're putting air into the piston so it can move up and down. Okay. And they're controlling these spoons so they can lift the salad. Speak to me of uh, perhaps a, a harder salad to mix. Let's say something like a fruit mm -hmm. salad or a bigger salad or a heavier salad. What would one do in a scenario like yeah, that? Yeah, that can be a problem, but I actually have another mode that I can use to Great. solve that. Okay. So I'll set it up now and show you. Yeah, for sure. Let's take a look. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm so, so curious. Yeah, Go so ahead. I'm just going to reset the machine here. Okay. And we'll add, you know what, we lost a little bit of the salad because it was kind of vigorous. Sure. So I'm going to toss another handful right in here. Sure, sounds good. And then we'll set it up. Nice. I'd love to have you over for a dinner party <laughs> sometime. So are we all ready? Yeah, we're ready now. Again, if you just want to press that green button, we'll toss it. Okay, great. Whoa! <laughs> now this is... This is a prototype version. With the prototype, we've got about two and a half feet of toss. Right. But I'm working all the time to extend that. I want to make sure any salad you have, this machine can handle it. That's fantastic. Well, it's certainly not easy being green unless you have a green salad tossing machine. Thank you so very much. Thank you. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me get my salad tossed by a Discovery Channel host on television. And until next time, guys, thanks.